welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a total experiment that should be fun. I'm going to create an acrylic background in my Dilusions art journal and then I'm going to add depth of color using cold wax and alcohol ink. So here we go. Just start by putting down some heavy gesso and I'm going to squirt some quinacridone nickel azo gold fluid acrylic right into those drips of gesso and spread it around both pages. This is doing two things for me. One, it is sealing the pages with the gesso, but it's also letting me lay down some background, initial background color. And now I'm going to go in with some acrylic ink in antelope brown. And I'm going to just spread some randomly across the top of each of these pages. And then I'll hit it with a spray of water from my fine mist sprayer. Get it pretty wet and get it moving. And a little more water, get it juicier, and let it run down the page. I love the way the ink picks up the brush marks from the gesso. You can see that at the top where it's lighter. And acrylic ink dries really fast, so I want to move it as much as I can with my heat tool just get some interesting marks. And now I just have a wet baby wipe and I'm just breaking that ink a little bit at the top just to add some additional texture and interest. Where it's really super dry I can't pick any up but there I was able to. Now I've just turned my journal around and I'm going to add some quinacridone nickel azo gold fluid acrylic and spray that with some water and you get some drips going in the opposite direction. So again, pretty wet. Want the drips to travel quite a ways. That's the nice thing about this Dilusions journal. You can just throw a ton of wet media on these pages as long as you've gessoed them and they can take it. I'm just back with my baby wipe and I'm just going to spread that color across and then onto the page randomly. Now I'm using Titan Buff Fluid Acrylic and I'm just going to pick it up with my brayer and get a light application of that color across both pages. Here and there I'm spreading it around with my fingers just to move it a little bit more until I like it. Now for a little more texture I'm going to use carbon black fluid acrylic and just apply it to a piece of deli wrap and then I'm going to spray that deli wrap with some water and get that paint nice and juicy and then I'll apply it to my pages.
I'm using a really light touch on the back of that paper to just get random spots of black here and there across both pages. And then we're back in focus and I'm going to dry it off. Now to set what I've done so far and prep the page to accept the cold wax and alcohol ink, I'm just going to cover both pages with clear gesso. That will just give me a barrier layer and something for the cold wax to adhere to. So I start with three colors of alcohol ink. I have a red, a black, and a turquoise and my Gamblin cold wax medium and I'm just going to apply them with a palette knife and then I'll use my bowl scraper to move them around. As far as the mixture of alcohol ink to cold wax, I just mix it up according to the intensity of color that I want. It's going to be transparent regardless of how much you put in. So I think I used about 10 drops of the turquoise, about 8 of the red, and about 8 of the black. And so I'm just applying it with the palette knife and then spreading it out with the bowl scraper on the red. For the turquoise, I just picked it up directly onto the bowl scraper and applied it that way. And I just really like the depth of color that you get with this transparent application of cold wax and alcohol ink. It's just you can't get it with paint. I could use a transparent paint and it still wouldn't look this way. So, And you just manipulate it as much as you want. You can scrape it back. You can add more. There's ju it's just a, such a versatile medium. You see, I, with the turquoise there on the right, I, I just tapped it on with the palette knife and got a different look than what I have where I put it on with the bowl scraper. And then just going in with little shots of black here and there. I don't want to overwhelm it, even though it is still transparent. Depending on how much you scrape it, you're going to see what's underneath. And you can get some real interesting marks with the edge of the bowl scraper. So here you can see the depth of color and the interesting marks and just how cool this background is. I mean it's almost a work all unto itself. <clears throat> I'm just taking a painting stylus and scratching through the wax to kind of reveal the colors that are showing through from underneath. Sorry about the glare there. So then I just take the bowl scraper and pull through to soften those marks. And I kind of lost the acemic writing that I put along that edge, so I just add it back in. So you can just make random marks, you can write in it, you can do whatever you want. And just scratch through it. You can use a skewer, your fingernail, anything that will scratch through the wax. It just adds some interesting marks. And then just softening it back again. Now I have a Neo Color 2 crayon. I believe the color is apricot. And because this is an oil-based 
art crayon, I can use this with the cold wax. So I'm just getting a little bit of a highlight there. The apricot crayon mixes with the turquoise color of the alcohol ink and cold wax that's underneath it and just gives me a lighter color with some texture left in there. And I'm just going to play with some different colors of art crayons and just make some marks and see what I come up with for these pages. The sad thing, not sad, but the hard part of putting cold wax in a journal is that cold wax takes a while to dry. It's a solvent-based medium, so it does take a while to dry. So once I'm finished with the cold wax application, I'm going to have to let this sit for at least overnight, if not longer, before I can do anything more on top of it. So I'm just going to finish playing with these art crayons here and getting some marks down, play with them and move them around with the bowl scraper until I have something that I like. And I have some Gamsol in a fine mist sprayer. And I'm just going to do it on the right hand side of this spread. But just sprayed it with the Gamsol. And I'll wait a few minutes, a few seconds, to let it soften the wax. And then I can do any number of things. I can pull through it with the bowl scraper. Here I have just a texturing brush. And I'm just playing with the brush and seeing what kind of marks and texture I can make on this page. So I just tapped it and then I'll drag it. Just kind of playing. See what I like, what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep. And I just, I like the tapping motion better than what I got when I was dragging it. And while this Gamsol is still nice and juicy and wet, I'm going to take a piece of paper toweling here in just a second. And lay over top of it. And when I brayer over top of the paper towel, I will leave the marks from the texture in the paper towel. I just took that bowl scraper and just removed some of the excess Gamsol before I laid the paper towel down. Yeah, and there you can see the texture that was left in the wax. So now I'll have to wait for this layer of cold wax to dry, and I'll be back later to show you what I finally did on top of it. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed watching this process, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.